Hi, I'm Elle Douglas. I'm the yoga instructor and the founder of the Black Women's Yoga Collective. And we're gonna move through downward facing dog. So down dog is a staple pose you'll do it in most vinyasa practices. So let's get a little bit more familiar with the different parts of it here. So we'll bring our hands down to the mat. First to start, so bring your hands down to the mat. Let's pause here. Check in with your fingertips. Make sure that um, your index finger and your thumb finger are making a little L. First check in with that. And then make sure that the top of the L is pointing straight up. That'll bring your other three fingers sort of fanned out towards the edges of your mat. Spread all 10 of your fingers out wide for your down dog and then feel out where your hand should be. Maybe they'll come about shoulder width distance apart, maybe a little wider depending on what feels good for you. And then go ahead and tuck your toes. So tucking your toes here, uh, pressing down through the toes, feeling your shins and your calves start to stretch out. Press down through your palms, start to lift the knees up off the mat, and then you'll send your hips up and back, coming into a downward facing dog. Now, check in with your feet, make sure they're about hips width distance, maybe a little wider if that feels good for you. They should be about in line with each other. And then you want your heels drawing down towards the mat and maybe they don't touch, maybe they don't even get close, but you wanna feel that sensation of your heels drawing down towards the mat. And then you're still pressing into your palms, pressing into your fingertips, feeling your arms get strong and long, letting your chest press back towards your thighs. Maybe you keep a bend in the knees here, especially if you have tight hamstrings, you can keep a bend in your knees while still sinking your heels down towards the mat and press your tailbone up towards the sky. So if you've made these adjustments, you should already feel some length getting created in your spine. Let your head hang between your arms. So not holding your head up or adding any extra tension in your neck. Letting your head hang heavy. Press your chest back towards your thighs. Send your heels down towards the mat. Maybe your knees are bent. Maybe your legs are straight. Your choice, no wrong answer here. Pressing through your palms to feel your arms get long. Feel your armpits opening up. Feel your shoulder blades hugging in towards center, in towards your spine. Feeling your chest opening up. Staying in your down dog, maybe you bend one knee and then the other, walking your dog, lifting one heel at a time. And just moving around in your down dog, finding the down dog that feels right for your body, creating movement, creating space, creating openness, letting yourself really be at play, really letting yourself really figure out what down dog feels right for your body. And it might look different today than tomorrow, than yesterday. Explore this down dog for as long as feels good for you. And when you're ready to come out of it, just bring your knees down to the mat. Take them out as wide or narrow as feels good for your child's pose. Drop your hips back towards your heels. Let your big toes touch. And then relax your chest and your forehead down towards the mat. Reach your fingertips up towards the top of the mat. Feel your body get long. Relaxing here. And then when you're ready, you'll make your way out of it. Maybe you try your down dog on again. Maybe you save this video for later. Your choice. I hope you enjoyed those cues and tips and maybe feel a little bit more connected to your version of down dog.